Well, hey there and good morning to Dr. Reinbold and to my classmates. My name is Joey Claus and I'm excited to be going through this course with you. I've been reading the syllabus and some of the materials I'm sure you all have and I'm excited to see what God has to say to me through this course. Um, I currently serve as an associate pastor for Generational Ministries and Media Design at Fortville Church of the Nazarene. It's a good sized church on the northeast side of Indianapolis. And it's a very special church to me because it's the church where I grew up in. And uh, it's just an awesome honor to be back and investing into the place that invested so much into me. Uh, I went to college at Ohio Christian University. It's through our sister denomination, the Churches of Christ in Christian Union. And I graduated there in 2016 with a double major in pastoral ministries and business administration. And my focus was to learn more about the administrative functions of the church to help organize it for missional success. And that's why I'm on the journey I am with my master's program now, to continue furthering my education and building up my arsenal of tools to do just that. After graduating in 2016, I was presented an opportunity to go to Virginia to a non-denominational church called Eastlake Community Church. And I served there for a little over a year under uh, Pastor Troy Keaton, a wonderful man, a man who taught me a lot. And we'll talk a little bit about him in just a second. But after that, I uh, came back to Indianapolis on the east side and I served at Indianapolis First Church of the Nazarene for a year and a half, maybe a little bit more, as pastor of student ministries and media design. And God blessed the ministry there greatly. And uh, it's a very special place in my heart. The people there are wonderful. Uh, I am 27. I am a, probably just a bit younger than most of the people in this class, but this is the format that suited my needs the best. And I want to talk to you a little bit about my family because that plays a little bit into it. You can see by the picture right there that I am married. Uh, her name is Stacy, and she is my best friend and the love of my life. We've known each other for 16 years, and I actually got to know her because all through middle school and high school, I was best friends with her younger brother. And so we just got to know each other. And when I moved back to Fortville to take the pastorate, uh, our friendship quickly turned into love, and we were married on November 2nd, 2019. Now, if you're looking at me right now and you're thinking, wow, he looks really tired, that's because I am. Uh, we have just welcomed our newest little addition to the family, little Annie Noel Claus, and she has a fun story behind it because she was actually the first baby born in the new year in Indianapolis. And so if you Google her name, You'll be able to find a whole bunch of articles and news interviews and uh, social media links of uh, mom and myself being interviewed about our sweet little baby. And uh, they are home. They're resting. We've had a little bit about with high blood pressure issues and mom and jaundice with the baby. And uh, we've spent most of 2021 in the hospital, but I'm happy to report that we are home and we are safe and we are growing and we're healing and so it's uh, going to be a fun journey, I can tell. I actually thought this course started a week later than it did, and so it kind of caught me off guard, but here we are, and we're going to be okay. Uh, I've been asked to share about some formative spiritual habits that have influenced me, and I would look to two people in my life, one that I know personally and one that I just follow because I admire him. I mentioned his name before. His name is Troy Keaton. He is a wonderful man of God. He is one of the most aggressive pastors that I know in the ministry. You will be hard-pressed to find someone more driven and individual than Troy Keaton, but his heart is in the right place. He is uh, feverishly seeking to build God's kingdom in Virginia and beyond, and he always pushed and impressed upon his pastoral staff the idea of making spiritual formation a lifestyle, not just a habit, not just something we do for professional development, but something that is the rhythm of our life. And uh, that has always impressed me. And that coupled with some advice that I've read and listened to from a well-known pastor, Chris Hodges, 
uh, he says we need to begin in rhythm doing the things and studying the things of God and um, his little ritual is he wakes up every morning, cup of coffee, candles, he spends some time in the word and in prayer and in devotion and it's not just a checkbox to him, it's not just something he does so he can tell people from the pulpit that he does it, but it's actually an influential part of his life and his spiritual development. And, you know, I'll be honest with you, I have fallen short many times with that, especially with the birth of our little Annie and the months leading up to her birth. It's been a crazy, tumultuous time. But that's kind of how I try to guide my spiritual formation and my spiritual practices and habits. And so I'm looking forward to hearing what the coursework has for us, any new ideas or new practices or new methods, I would welcome. So I'm just excited to be on this journey with you and uh, look forward to hearing to uh, having a lot of conversation with all of you.